Can you imagine living here and waking up to see the ocean from a hundred foot drop? Honey, have you seen the dog? <laughs> In my last Pacifica video, it was suggested in the comments that I came here to check the severe erosion that's happening here in Pacifica. Some houses already fell off the cliff. Some houses were demolished. Some are red tape. It's a big issue and it's been happening for years. Right next to the pier where I was on my last video. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. The pier is now damaged and will be closed for the next three weeks just to assess the damage. So we'll see if you'll ever open. Just like these two apartment buildings, right next door, these used to be three large apartment buildings and they were demolished six years ago when they were red tagged by the city. Look at all this empty lot. Look how close that is to the edge. This was one apartment building. There was another one here in the middle and then there was a the last one there where the white lot is. I remember it was six years ago, back in 2017. It was all over the news when they were demolishing these apartment buildings. And as you can see, we have apartment buildings right next to them. And back in 2017, they still had about 20 feet away from the bluff, but in a bad storm, those 20 feet fell down in a week. And that's what the uh, apartments next door have. They still have about 20 feet of land, but they could be a bad storm away from falling down the cliff. And this is what we're looking at. Nice apartments, nice trail, right next to the cliff. A few years ago, this apartment building was fined one and a half million dollars for building their own wall down the beach. Look, that's not even 20 feet anymore. It was 20 feet down in the beginning, but here it's more like 10 feet they had left before they closed this trail. Then it goes on to the apartments. Look how close is this last apartment to the bluff. Yeah, that's like 20 feet. And from the trail to the end, that's like two feet. Some gave way already. You can see one of the poles already down. And they have caution tape here. Warning, high cliff and high tide area. Keep away. How come you keep away if you live here?
the residents on these apartments are just feet away in a bad storm from becoming refugees. Look how close they are. I'm sure it's nice waking up to these sights every day, but I'm also sure that when the winter storms hit, it's not so pleasant. If the living room is missing, that's where the apartments were demolished six years ago. And just about 100 feet away are these apartments. Guess who's next? This here were two houses that were red tagged by the city and demolished just six years ago. This is what remains, just an empty lot. Just across the street, more houses. Look how corroded that garage door is. I'm gonna show some pictures from Google Maps when the houses used to be here, before and after. Managed retreat are some speakeasy keywords that are not very popular around here. These motorhomes can just drive away, no problem. But the homes, if they get red tag, they lose equity, value on the home, they can't get them insured, and good luck with a mortgage. A lot of the homes here in Pacifica are million dollar homes. Two, three million, some of them. And talking about managed retreat is not an option. Nobody wants to lose value on their home. Million dollar home, million dollar home. Boulders here at the bottom is the wall that has been built to buy time on erosion. That boulder used to be a piece of the road that fell off. It's concrete and pavement. Look how cool this park is. It's fenced off now. I got these benches, places to sit in a fire pit. Really cool. But it's too dangerous, stay close to it. This home is a historical landmark here in Pacifica. The owner has lived here for 45 years and recently had to sell. If you see those dollar signs on the house, it's because this used to be a radio station. This used to be a dollar radio the first radio transmission tower back in the 1920s. She has invested over $200,000 just trying to reinforce the bluff. But as time goes by, it's a losing battle. The deck used to be twice as large. And then after that, there were more bluff. It's all gone now. They're ready for the next storm. Sandbag and boarded up. We're going to have king tides this month and these homes are ready for the storm. This is part of the aftermath from last week. Severe damage to the sidewalk. Now it's all fenced off. That looks pretty steady. Look how much sand they got in there. And the boards. Looks like they replaced the board from last week. Who do you think is gonna win? The ocean or the seawall? We know the ocean was here before the homes and we know the ocean will be here after the homes. Let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you on the next video.